Hey, what's up guys? Happy Friday. Today we're going to have some fun with this video because we're going to use artificial intelligence to assist us in finding niches for our print on demand businesses. And then from there, we're also going to drill down into these niches using AI to basically help us um, find the potential for scalable niches that we can then obviously use in our print on demand business to increase our sales. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully it's going to blow your mind the way it blew my mind the first time I saw it. And you know, it's 2022, you know what I mean? It's 2022. We don't have flying cars. We don't have uh, teleportation would be nice. Anybody that's flown recently sure would be nice to be able to teleport places. Um, we haven't been back to the moon since 1969. All right. You, you explain that one to me. It seems a little bit weird, but, uh, we do have artificial intelligence for our print on demand business niches. All right. And this stuff can be used for beyond uh, what I'm going to show you in the scope of today's video. You can actually use it for KDP. Uh, I've experimented with that a bit. Um, but anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's just get right to it. Real quick reminder, I've got some free resources for you in the description. I've got the free weekly print on demand giveaway. Make sure you enter that. I've got an eight day print on demand mini course delivered via email completely free. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook group. All right, now let's jump on over to OpenAI. All right, so we are here at the uh, OpenAI uh, website and it does say beta in the URL. It says beta.openai.com. So I guess they may still be technically in beta with this product, but um, fortunately I have access to it. Now they have a couple different engines for their AI and uh, the DaVinci one is supposed to be the most impressive one. So I think we should just roll with that. Um, the pricing and all this stuff for what we're gonna be doing is uh, pretty affordable, pretty cheap. So, and DaVinci, this engine is the most expensive, but I know nobody really cares about that, right? Let's just get right to using AI to <laughs> come up with print on demand niches. And you know, I had an idea for how I wanted to take this video, but in real time, I'm not going to edit this out. So whether it works or not, it might make me look stupid, but right, right away, let's just see what happens if we ask the AI to come up with a list of print on demand niches for us. I have not tried this before. All right. Normally I kind of like give it a niche and then I have it list out, um, data points that I can use in the designs. All right. But let's just say, um, a list of print on demand list of, let's say popular print on demand t-shirt niches niche let's see if this actually works i don't know it might make you look stupid all right there we go actually and i didn't tell it how many to come up with so it just listed one two three four five six seven eight okay it gave us eight different print on demand niches but what if we said like uh, 50 popular print on demand t-shirt niches and then i will also extend the maximum length and I will submit that and let's watch it in real time. Pretty interesting. You see that? By the way, my hands are up. I should just show you that this is not me. This is not an editing tactic or anything like that. So there you go. I don't know how it's generating. Again, I, I should have done more research. I know it's silly for me to make a video. and But I mean, honestly, of the people who do make the videos on uh, OpenAI, there's no shortage of them on YouTube. There's actually some really cool ones that I had seen before. Does anybody re like? Do you, does anybody really know what's going on behind the scenes? Unless you're like an engineer <laughs> that got to tinker. Like I'm a pretty technical guy. I could theorize, but this stuff definitely like exceeds my expectation. Do I think that this is uh, even coming close to sniffing being sentient? No, I don't. Uh, but do I think that they're able to data mine the internet and uh, come up with some pretty good results based on us just writing a free form? Uh, question in which case I didn't even type a question. I just told it what I wanted. I mean, Hey, this is not bad. Uh, the first niche it gave us here is mom life. Second one, dog mom, third cat mom, wine mom, boss lady, girl boss, mom, boss, soccer mom, baseball mom, softball mom, ba basketball mom. Um, you gotta wonder, like, did they just go to Etsy and, and kind of like mimic the search results or Amazon? I don't know. Coolest mom ever, best mom ever, hot mom, single mom, proud single mom, super mom. Interesting. If we go down, Best friends, uh, sisters, soul sisters, niece, cousin. So pretty high level stuff. There's not too much to do with this. Um, flower girl, engagement, just engaged, newlywed, anniversary, Christmas, New Year's. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. What if we do something like, um, well, this is, let me show you what I was kind of thinking initially that I would show you that I know we can do um, with this. So we can say like list of uh, United States cities and population. So, I mean, a, a low hanging fruit um, t-shirt niche would just be target the cities, 
you know what I mean? And like maybe put, maybe not their population. You could do something like a uh, year established. Okay, so, and then when it creates the, the list for us, I'm gonna say city and then put a pipe and then I'm gonna say year established. Okay, and I'm gonna hit submit. And check that out. Like it's just going in in real time. So I didn't tell it how many to do. Uh, I forgot. You could say like list of fifty United States cities, and it'll do fifty. But um, Philadelphia, and it says sixteen eighty two. New York City, sixteen twenty four. Boston, Massachusetts, sixteen thirty. Baltimore, Maryland, seventeen twenty nine. Uh, and then also, because I've already done this, so I already knew this this sort of thing would work. But like you can convert. Like you see the format it kind of gives you. Um, you can you can structure this data and then feed it into an, uh, a CSV file basically and then use that to automate your uploads with um, automate with automatepod.com that you see behind me here you just feed in a CSV it can be multi column CSV so you could even do like city state uh, and then year you know what I mean and have like a three column you just feed it into your um, designs and tell it to go and then it works so really cool stuff here uh, beyond this like what if we say list of popular basketball t-shirt ideas i'm just making this up as i go let's see what it comes up with hit submit i love basketball basketball is life all about that basketball life baller hoop dreams basketball addict dunk like you mean it i live breathe eat sleep basketball basketball junkie crazy about basketball obsessed with basketball basketball is my passion so there you go just like that i mean you know guys business and things in life are really as hard as you make it and not you sorry that's a weird way of saying it as it's as hard as we make it on ourselves really um if you don't know about these tools then hey you're not going to benefit from them existing but it's like hey now you know about them so uh it and this is by no means perfect like this has a long way to go if we were still going to go do like traditional niche research go to amazon or etsy look at the best sellers when we do a keyword uh, search and kind of see like what the actual I just think of it as like text pairings like okay we're doing a basketball shirt let's get a basketball graphic let's put some text above let's put some text below you know if we're going to take time to set up um a design template and find that good graphic and then upload well why wouldn't we make like 10 shirts instead of just one right like there's no reason not to just make make 10 right well what are we how are we gonna come up with 10 ideas of text you know text being the variable well not that the graphics couldn't be variable but you know keep it simple one good basketball graphic let's make 10 unique designs from that Okay, we need text to put above and maybe below or maybe both. Well, here you go. OpenAI just gave us a bunch of ideas and uh, I'm sure there's more creative ways to, to use it. I, this is something I could have done on a live stream, honestly, and just like kind of fed people's ideas into the tool in, um, in real time. But hopefully this was an interesting video. Like you can use it for, you want to see what we could possibly use this for. Let's see what it, what it comes up with. Um, I know that there's kind of limitations here on the length but i will max out the length all right to four thousand tokens and let's just say uh write me a children's story i, I want to say like how many words but it's also it's going to be basically a function of the max length over here write me a children's story about a young boy and his pet uh monkey all right let's see should I read the story? <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I have to read it to see if it's any good. So they definitely wrote a short story. This is why you kind of want to give it the length. But let's write. Let's read the short one, and you'll get an idea of what it would do for the long one. It says a young. It says one day a young boy found a monkey in the forest. The monkey was injured, and the boy took him home to care for him. The boy named the monkey George, and they became best friends. George would go with the boy wherever he went. One day, when they were out in the forest, George saw a banana tree, and he climbed it to get some bananas. The boy was so proud of his monkey friend, right? I mean, that's not bad for a full circle story that was like six sentences long, maybe. Um, we could experiment and say, like, write me a children's story. Write me a 1,000 word children's story about a boy and his pet. Um, you know, what? we can get crazy, actually. A boy with an ice cream addiction and his pet um, snail. Submit. <laughs> as a young boy tommy loved nothing more than ice cream he would have it for breakfast lunch and dinner if he could his parents tried to limit his intake but it was hard for him to say no to those big brown eyes uh, it was hard to say no to his big brown eyes his favorite flavor was chocolate and he would always have a big smile on his face while he was eating it one day tommy's parents took him to the park to play he saw a big ice cream van and begged his parents to buy him one 
They said no, and Tommy started to cry. His parents didn't want to give in, but they eventually relented and bought him a small ice cream. Tommy was so happy that he started to dance around. Nearby, there was a snail crawling along the ground. Tommy's ice cream fell on top of the snail, and it started to cry. Tommy felt so bad that he gave the snail some of his ice cream. From that day on, Tommy and the snail became best friends. They would always share Tommy's ice cream, and the snail would always be there to listen to Tommy's stories. I mean, they did it. it did, the AI did it. Anyways, this video is going longer than I kind of wanted it to, so let me know if you enjoyed it, if you have anything that you want me to experiment with, like feeding into the AI to see what it, uh, what it responds with. Um, let me know other creative ways that we might be able to use this to benefit our business. I know that like we could use this to write out our descriptions, our bullet points, etc. That is definitely something we could do. Uh, and I do believe they have an API. Um, so, you know, who knows what the future is going to look like as far as uh, how this gets integrated into various tools. But you guys already know if you're subscribed to my channel, I will let you know as soon as I do when we can leverage this Um ideally in more of like a scalable streamlined fashion if we're going to feed it into like bullet points and descriptions etc titles even whatever um, but guys yeah thank you for watching please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future content uh, related to ai and how that's going to benefit our business and uh, yeah go enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you tomorrow with a new video